Hi, welcome to part two in this series Before Saying I Do under the big umbrella Love and Relationship Affairs Lara. In our part one, we talk about the permanence of marriage and that highlight the fact that divorce is not God's plan. So before one enters into marriage, you must consider the fact that it is a sacred institution. And for that reason, you must prepare your yourself adequately. The reason why we are considering this before saying I do series. Now we're going to talk about in this part two, understanding singlehood before marriage. Understanding singlehood before marriage. May I state clearly that understanding singlehood before marriage is essential for individuals to fully grasp their purpose and identity in God's plan. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 through 28, we learn that both a man and a woman are created in the image of God. And I quote, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Men and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Friends, you see, in this passage, it's underlined the inherent value and purpose of each individual, regardless of their marital status. A Christian writer by the name Elijah White emphasizes this point which states that, and I quote, every human being created in the image of God is endowed with power akin to that of the Creator. Individuality, power to think and to do. The men in whom this power is developed are men who bear responsibilities, who are leaders of enterprise, and who influence character. This is from the book Education, page 17. Friends, in another instance, she also said, and I quote, before giving her in marriage, every woman should inquire, do I love God with all my heart? Am I seeking to perfect a Christian character? What is the object of my life? What are my hopes and aims? Will my marriage bring happiness to me and for the glory of God? End of quotes. This is from the book, Athletics Home, page 60. Friends, before entering marriage, it is important for every individual to inquire to, to seek, to know and understand and embrace their unique identity and purpose as children of God. As the of the men, men must understand their source. If men have refused to know that God is their source, they will malfunction while in the marriage. And guess what? The ripple effect will be on the women and they too will malfunction too because men will be the source from which the women will be taken. So if you have malfunctions, the women will follow. So friends, Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, tells us that there is a time for every season, for every activity under the heavens, and of course, this includes time for singlehood. During this period of singlehood, it is a time for every individual to have an opportunity to cultivate their gifts. It is an opportunity for them to cultivate their talent and relationship with God. So this time, it is a time for them to grow you no know, personally, to be able to develop themselves. It is a time for them to grow spiritually. It is a time for them to be able to Heal their e e emotional stamina because they will need a lot of it whilst in marriage. It's a time for them to prepare themselves to be that compatible and fulfilled partner in the relationship. Because once an unfulfilled person meets with a free person, it will become an hindrance. It will be a misery. It will, it will live a miserable life for that fulfilled partner. And guess what? The mental effect will be on the on the unfulfilled partner because he, will, he or she will always be casting her her own fulfillment on the partner. So the single period is a time for them to be fantasizing how your wedding will be, the gown you're going to wear, the suit you're going to put on, the club and everything. No, we're going to get all of that as we continue the series. But what I'm saying in this particular part is that God in Ephesians 2 verse 10 affirms that for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us. So what we're saying is that on the, everyone must, we must be able to to understand this crucial part of their lives, that they have a purpose, a unique uh, purpose for their lives. And this helps them to build that foundation for a long lasting relationship. Because Proverbs in 19 verse 21 states that many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the lost purpose that prevails. So your lost purpose in your life must have to prevail during your time of singlehood. So when you have you get to know your purpose in life, you must do it by seeking God, prayer. If you buy a new gadget, a new equipment, 
You need to read the manual. So the Bible also plays a role. You pray, you read the word of God. In that you will know what God wants to do. And then afterwards, you meditate, you watch out for God's providence. And then seek godly counsel. In this way, you will see that God has destined you, has prepared you for something unique that only you or you can add to what other people are doing. So what we are saying, friends, is that you must enter into marriage, you know, with this understanding. And when you enter to marry, you have you have clarity, you have confidence, you have, you have a shared vision with your future partner. Do you not just be there just to do anything? No, it will be specially unique. To be married me for mission. To be married, to be I married for mission, not just married for sex. I, I, I won't come out of this things. How many times will you do sex? The whole of your 24 hours. If you love sex so much, see, sex is only reason for marriage only. It's just oh God, I'm going to talk about it anyways. But in, in conclude this particular part, what I'm saying is that single before marriage is not merely a waiting period, but a time for preparation, a time for you to have a fulfilled, uh, to fulfill God's purpose in your life as an individual. And when you embrace your identity, you cultivate the relationship with God, and you fulfill your, your purpose. Single becomes a time for you to be compatible, prepared for, for, for a fulfilled mission, fulfilled life for you and your, your, your family. And then in this way, you will honor God and you will be a means to which blessings can flow to others. God bless you for being in this series. Stay till the end of this series, my God's grace, in the next part. See you there. God bless you.